The History of Canada Tensions between the British and French in the Americas had risen for some time, as each side wanted to increase its land holdings. The Seven Years' War, also known as the French and Indian War, here in the United States, was fought between the years of 1756 and 1763. After a year and a half of undeclared war, the French and the English formally declared war in May of 1756. This war, which began in Europe and spread to the Americas, resulted in a victory for Britain. The results of the war effectively ended French political and cultural influence in North America. Canada belonged to Britain. When Britain took control of Canada, it wanted the colony to be British, yet, to avoid rebellion, it knew it had to recognize the rights of French Canadians. The Quebec Act was passed by Parliament of Great Britain in, on June 22, 1774, and went into effect on May 1, in 1775. The Quebec Act was designed to extend the boundaries of Quebec and guaranteed religious freedom to Catholic Canadians. Because of the Quebec Act, the British took American land without the colonists' consent. This made them very angry, of course. The turn of events eventually led to the Revolutionary War. After the United States won independence from Britain in 1783, Americans who had remained loyal to the British poured into Canada. Beginning in 1807, skirmishes between Britain and the U.S. escalated. Due to violations of American neutrality on the high seas, the U.S. stopped trade with Britain. The U.S. saw conquering the British Americas as the way to freedom again. The War of 1812 begins with an attack by the United States on Canada, both as an effort to gain land and to cut off the British supply lines. One major event that happened during the War of 1812 was the city of Washington, D.C. It was evacuated and the British burned the Capitol and the White House along with most of the residential areas of, of Washington, D.C. Here you can see the pictures of the White House before 1812, of course while it is burning, and then after 1814 with it being restored. After considerable bickering, the negotiators signed the Treaty of Ghent on December the 24th, 1814, officially ending the war. The treaty returned the U.S. and Britain relations to the same status that they had been before the war. The U.S. neither gained nor lost any territory. The British North American Act In the 1800s, Britain feared the American westward expansion. To strengthen its position, Britain passed in 1867 the British North America Act. This created the Dominion of Canada. It included three British colonies, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Canada. A dominion is a territory that governs itself, but is still tied to its colonizing country. Canadian Independence In 1931, Britain is Britain recognized Canada's ability to act independently of the British Empire. Canada still remains linked to Great Britain as the country's constitution was an official act of Parliament.